Welcome back to Undertale. Let's go speak with the Spider Woman and see if she has anything new to say. It's okay, I'm not gonna step on you. There you are, dearie. You're always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. Ooh hee 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 hee. Okay, <laughs> so nothing new there. Uh, Ooh. I bet I can climb those vines. What do you bet? <gasps> also, have I looked at this poster? I don't think I have. It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers, kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Oh god, am I gonna walk into that? I think I am. Let's call Papyrus. A poster for Metaton Show? That's neato. I want a poster for my puzzles. And maybe a few opening bands. Wow, you literally can call him about everything. Like, what does he say for this? There's some strange interference. Oh. Hmm. How strange. Oh god, is this... Is this Metaton? Oh? That a human? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could it be? My one true love? <laughs> oh, it's so gentle. And elegant. Even though it's screaming every word that it utters. Is this meant to be... This is meant to be sang, isn't it? Er, sang? Sung? Sung? Meant to be sung? Should I sung this? I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> oh, these lyrics are just beautiful. <laughs> so sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. No. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, heavens have mercy. The horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds like a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... A actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great. Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire! Ha ha ha! Ha! My poor love! I'm so filled with grief I can't stop laughing! Good luck, darling. <laughs> Goo! What did that do? Oh! That shocks! Piranhas in- oh wow, they actually weren't joking about the rules. Piranhas in the water and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Uh, oh. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my. Any minute now. Robotic cough. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh, <laughs> firewall! Firewall! You're hacking into the firewall?! I approve of this pun. Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys! Well, I, I think Metaton just got cut off by Alphys. That's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling. What are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Yeah. Metaton attacks. Um, aren't I out of healing items, or did they get some? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm out of I'm out of all healing items except for the snow piece, which I don't consider a healing item because it's kind of like a body part, and I'm not gonna eat it. Well. I guess all we can do is yell. <laughs> you yell? Nothing happened. <laughs> this is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. H hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. The phone's act menu is glowing. Press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Hmm? Now press Z. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks... I can say nothing or say all thanks to you. All thanks to you, Alphys. What? Oh no, I mean... You were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey. This might sound strange, but... C can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything with without... Without ending up letting everyone down. But... Guiding you has made me feel... A lot better about myself. So... Thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Aw, Alphys. Hey! You're selling nice cream in hell, and it's the bros again. I wonder if they've had sex with each other yet. I mean, I wonder if they've had ice cream. I mean, wow, they actually did go for ice cream. They weren't lying about that. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Aw. That's 
Great, but your smile isn't going to heal my lost hit points. But, I mean, that's nice. <laughs> oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. Aw. Okay, I seriously need, like, a save point. Save point and healing item. Hey, Sans, how's it going? Goodbye. Oh, that just goes back here. Wait, what? Oh, right, I fell down below into the dungeon. That's why this is the dungeon down here. That goes back to where I was, so what's to the right? Mm hmm? <gasps> yes! Elevator. I can take that to a save point, or to a store. Hey, hey! Did you remember my name? Did you? <laughs> Kinda? What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? You okay? I'll always remember that you remembered. <laughs> what? Alright, see ya. Okay, so I'm on R3 right now. Um, I want to get healing items, absolutely. Of course, there might be a store inside of the main place that I was about to go to where Sans is. But there's also some other stuff I might want to do. I'm going to take a look around. I'm going to do a couple things and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I was going back here to where I gave the glass of water to Undyne when she was chasing me, and I found a clam creature. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, that's creepy. Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. You came from Waterfall to hell to get a drink? I what? Why didn't you stay in the water in Waterfall? I don't get it. You're creepy. Also, I'm going to take a cup of water. Because I'm assuming it heals me, although I'm actually not quite sure. Oh, wait. It's not even on me. Oh, but I'm holding it. Uh... You want a drink? Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Is this going to affect my ability to do stuff, having a glass of water in my hand? Or am I just going to carry it around for the entire rest of the game? Because it's not in my inventory, so I can't actually, like, get rid of it. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so here's one of the things I was looking for, but before I get to that, um, let me just tell you a couple things I did. I went to the, uh, like the old turtle guy, uh, who sold me the crab apples before, and I bought a bunch of those. So I've got four crab apples. Some healing items. Um, also I equipped a weapon. Not to actually use it as a weapon, but for the passive stats. So as somebody suggested, um, weapons can have passive bonuses to you. And so even though I don't actually use my weapons to attack with, it can still be useful to actually equip a weapon just for the passive bonuses. So I equipped, uh, what's it? Uh, the Burnt Pan. Yeah, which I believe is make healing items heal four more HP. So I might as well get the passives out of it, even if I'm not going to use it. So I just dumped my stick that I had the entire game before then. So there's that. And here's the other thing. Somebody told me that I had missed Temi Village. Because if you remember back here, this is around where the snail races are and the ghost houses. This is a sign that says, Bluk Acres, Hotland, and then, unknown direction, Temi Village. Apparently you can actually find the Temi Village, and I think I maybe just found it. So, just to refresh your memory, this is the ghost houses where I visited. Off up here is the snail races. But, it turns out there's something here, and I'm assuming this is the Temi Village. It's certainly something. 
And for some reason, Papyrus is here, so hey, what's going on, Papyrus? Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? Hang out with Undyne? Oh, this is Undyne's house. This isn't Temmie Village. Somebody also told me to go to Undyne's house, and I was kind of confused because I'm like, wait, Undyne has a house? Huh? <laughs> Where's the house? Uh, I guess this is it. I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Of course! I gave her a glass of water. She's not going to try to murder me anymore, right? I mean, she can, like, save the entire race of monsters. Or she can realize that I gave her a glass of water and be like, Yeah, you know what? I know if I kill you, I can, like, save all our people and free us from this horrible life. But you gave me a glass of water, so you're cool. Of course I'll hang out. Let's go. Okay, stand behind me. Wait, why do I have to stand behind you? Are you worried about her trying to kill me? Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Uh... Is that a chew toy? Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Uh... Why does that sound sexual? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? Did he actually give me the item? He didn't. I'm supposed to give her a present, but he hasn't given me the present. What the heck? Also, hey dummy. I mean, I didn't mean to call you stupid, but how's it going? What? 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 It's a living? It, it's a live. What? It's a living? Huh? It's a living. Oh, it's... Oh, not it's a living something. It's it's a living. Like, being a dummy is, is a living. I, I got, got you. Got, okay. Where is Temmie Village, though? It must be hidden. Is Temmy Village just filled with Temmies? Because I did fight a Temmie once, and it was really strange. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. Oh, on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> nice exit, Papyrus. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Nah. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Well, yeah. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Really? How delightful! I accept! <laughs> that face! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. Really, you'd beat up a little kid. You realize I'm like a 13-year-old girl, I think, right? I think I'm like a 13-year-old girl. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know. It's pixel art. It's hard to tell. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Papyrus, you clever bastard. Challenge? What? Papyrus? Wait a second. Darn it. 
He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke! I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties. I'll make you like me so much you won't be able to think of anyone else. Foo hoo hoo hoo. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? I'd love to. Also, when Undyne's out of her armor, she looks really kind of adorable. Sit down and progress. No, I want to take a look around first. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Um... No, they didn't. What the hell are you talking about? Right? Uh, <laughs> um... I'm sorry, have you been watching too much Final Fantasy? Uh... I'll be super nice and lie to her face and just not contradict her at all. I want to be your friend! True. <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. Oh, Alphys helped you? She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? You know what? I, I bet Alphys actually used Final Fantasy as a guide for those swords, probably. <laughs> believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. Har har har. One time, Alphys's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. What? I'm not gonna serenade you. I wanted to play myself. Can you get me a stool? I'm kind of short. And the sink is a teacup in the shape of, of a fish. That's kind of cute. She has a lot of fish-themed stuff. Look, fish wallpaper, fish table... It's not really a tablecloth. Table... What the hell is that? Table... What is that? It's not a tablecloth. Tablecloths cover the entire table. That's a table... what? What is that called? I need to know! It's a table what? Table... Duh. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. <laughs> I hate cold food. So Alpha's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge. The world's greatest invention. Look inside the bone drawer. Sure! to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. <laughs> All right, what do you what do you want to do? Sit down and progress, yeah. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. It's going to be hot whatever it is. It's coming from the hot fridge. Uh All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up! You realize you just destroyed your table? <gasps> You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why don't you just point to what you want? You can use the spear. <laughs> Seriously? 
Honda, do you really think this is simpler than me just getting up? Okay. Fridge full of food. Sword, acquired taste. I, I can say I want to, like, swallow the sword. I mean, sword swallowing's a thing, but the problem is the sword is, like, four times as long as my entire body. Fridge full of food. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Wait, green? What? It's blue. Huh? Soda. Sickly yellow liquid. <laughs> Sugar. Goes in tea. Oh my god, I can shoot it at Undyne. That's not what best friends do. I want the sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. Fridge. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No. Uh, whoops. Are you hitting on me? No. I'll take the mislabeled hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Soda? Oh, soda. Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? <laughs> Didn't even answer. Sugar. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Y y yes Yeah. What? Really? That rules! You're still not gonna give me the sugar? Damn it! Fine. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. You know, if you keep watching it, it's never gonna boil. Oh wait, it boiled. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. By the way, I just want to point out that if you actually brewed tea for like... 10 seconds? That's gonna be some weak-ass tea. God, you gotta brew that for like, what, at least four minutes? Come on. Well, it depends on the kind of tea, but seriously, ten seconds is nothing. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey. You know... It's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. Golden flower, um... If I had known, I wouldn't have... Drinking in, in it. Golden flower. Flowey, the... The regicidal... Kingflower. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. 
I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, a uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. But don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it... You'll have to have it for him! <laughs> Fuck yes, let's do this! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Foo hoo hoo! Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Let's do it! Teach me to cook. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it all wimpy. Wimpy pound. Wimp. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Yeah, I don't know what that sound's supposed to be. Naga. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Carefully... You place the noodles in one at a time. <laughs> one at a time? Oh my god. They clink against the empty bottom. Nice? Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it. Press Z repeatedly to stir. Okay. Harder! Harder! Oh, let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Okay. <laughs> Hotter. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hotter, darn it. I'm going to burn down your house. Oh, let me do it. See? This is how you... No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? 
can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Naga! Oh my god, this is really fast paced. Okay, Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Thank god I bought those healing items. Um, Fake attack? I guess I'm gonna fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo who who? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh my god. Thank you to whoever said to go back and look for Temi Village and go to Undyne's house. That was amazing! Oh my god, that was amazing! I love this game, and Undyne's adorable! She's adorable! Everyone's adorable! Also, the house looks like it's crying. Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's enough for one episode. That was awesome, that was amazing. That was so cool. I didn't think they were actually gonna... I didn't think there was any possibility of you, like, going back to talk to Undyne and, you know, having any sort of a... character development with her or anything like that. I thought it was just over. It's really cool that it's not just that simple. You can go back and actually get to know a lot more about her. It's really cool. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here, but when I return, because Undyne says she's going to go hang out with Papyrus and Snowden, that means I want to go to Snowden. I want to go back there and go meet them and see if anything new is there. And I also want to try to find this elusive Temi village. I just need to head in the question mark, question mark, question mark direction. Don't know where the heck it is, but I want to find it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.